Yeah, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Simon. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to yet another route um, breakdown by Scooter Whisper. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Today, we're just going to be breaking down some of his best routes. Um, I know y'all seen the first one that I did on him. Um, we're just going to be breaking down some of his uh, routes in practice again. I'm um, just seeing the improvements that he made and also seeing some of the things that he can get better at. Like I said at the beginning, thank y'all for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe and leave your boy a comment. Let's get into the video. First rep right here. Um, I really like the route on um, this curl route right here. So we plan the guy's playing head up man, right? And you decide to take an inside release. I honestly like the route, but I feel like you can give um the defender more on that crossover right out of that left leg. You see how you don't really move that left leg and you don't really gain ground with that left leg. Always when you're making a double stick, you always want to make the defender buy, right? I always tell the guys that I'm training and the guys that I work with, if you do not sell the move, they are not gonna buy it. And also when you get to the top of this curl route, you never want to like just sit and wait on the ball. You want to be aggressive with coming up out of that break and sprinting up out of that break because a better defensive back, he's going to be driving on that ball as well. So always sprint up out of your break and accelerate out of your break and always know that, you know, when you come up out your break, it's a race back to that ball between you and that DB because he's driving as well. Second rep right here. Um, this is a perfect example of what I was just saying in the last rep of you gaining ground, right? You see how you go to make that crossover with that right stick first and then you throw them with that left stick. You see how you gain ground with that left stick and it kind of makes them jump. That's what I mean by making them buy like you threw them with it so this just is a really great route um selling your head and shoulders and everything coming up out of it, accelerating catching the ball not losing speed when i say accelerate out of your break basically what i mean is don't lose speed when you you coming in and out of your break and also like be in control don't don't just like try to just be fast and all out of control because it's one thing to be fast and you're all over the place but 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 i'd rather for you to be quick efficient and, and complete control of your body. You work out again, um, another corner route. Again, this is another fantastic job of, of being in control in your body and, and not losing speed as you go um, to make this double move. What you see a lot of guys do, like especially in the league, man, especially in college, like when guys go to make a double stick or they go to do this little rocker step that you did right here, they lose speed. And, and, and what's so great about this route is you actually carrying speed and you keeping your momentum. Your arms nice and tight. You coming up out of this corner flat. The only thing that I would tell you right here is like always like when you on when you on the I don't I can't tell if you're on the field side or if you're on the boundary side, but always just be aware of where you at on the field and knowing like like, like like how fast you can run this route like some routes you can tempo some routes based off of where you at on the field so this is a great route man the only thing i'll tell you is just like you, you see how you close to the sideline just make sure that you tempo it when you come up out of this route like some sometimes it's good to to come out of your route like tempo and no, notice i said like not jogging but tempo on um because like you don't want to run out of real estate and what i mean by that is basically you just don't want to run out of room you want to give your quarterback room to make this play for you so it's a great play just being aware of, of where you at on the field and um just being in control of your body in a great route fourth route right here um this is an amazing route uh, i know you didn't get the ball right here but this is th this is why i wanted to put this on here simply because of the fact that like you didn't get the ball and and, and all the time like when you backside on a play and you know you're not getting the ball, always still a rep, bro. Always get a rep in because you never know. Like, you might have to run that same route or that same look at some point during the game. But this is another, you know, another perfect example of, of you being, like, actually a, a seller, right? You selling that, that stick and making them jump to the outside so you can easily get um, back up on this hip and sell it on that vertical seam. So this is a great route. This is a fantastic rep. And what I love even more is that you're not taking a playoff like you backside you're not getting the ball quarterback not looking to you and you're still on the rep and you're still getting better so always keep that in your mind and continue to do that so last rep right here um again just another fantastic corner out um great awareness again great play and to make this play in the back of the end zone but but always remember this like when you coming up out of any of your routes, whether you're running a curl, whether you're running a comeback, a slant, a dig, always snap that head around and snap that shoulder around um, to the side that you're going. You see how you kind of um, run this corner route, this out route, and it kind of take you a little while to get that head around, right? Um, so, so, so always snap that shoulder to where you're turning. So right here, you would snap your left shoulder around so that you can quickly get your head around and find the quarterback and find the ball and make a play on the ball. And also, be careful not to let the ball get too far in your pads like always go up a high point that thing be aggressive with your hands like you know what i'm saying you be the aggressive go up and high point that thing and and and, and and, and make a play like this is a really great play and i'm just you know what I'm saying suggesting something for future references but i'm 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 impressed with the improvement 
Like, you, you are a lot more in control of your body. Like, your routes and everything always have been good. Like, you come from a great route, run, route running family. <laughs> like, man, I'm, I'm impressed, bro. And just keep working hard and, and, and continue to, you know what I'm saying, stay patient, stay patient with yourself and just keep putting out um, great quality film and keep, keep putting out a great product on the field.